Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be sitting in front of you guys today because it is another round of favorites video. This time, because we are now at the October round of our favorites videos, and my first one is something that we're gonna dive straight into because I can't wait to show you guys any longer. It is this cute little bumblebee beside me. <laughs> I got Sky this super cute little bumblebee outfit when I was in Tokyo. I miss her so, so much. And don't mind her messy little mouth because she was crying all the time and now she developed tear stains on her mouth. But that's okay, I still love her very much. And I just really wanted to show you guys this really cute bumblebee outfit. <laughs> it makes her look less fluffy, but also I love the little wings at the back. It's just so cute. And like, I bought so many different things in Tokyo as well. I bought a kimono for Sky. I bought her like a Halloween pumpkin hat, which turned out to be too big for her, but it's okay. I just couldn't stop thinking of Sky when I was there, which seals the deal that I love her more than I love Slater. I'm kidding. <laughs> that is something that Slater is always joking with me about that I keep asking about Sky and I never ask about him, but it's just how can you resist this cute little face? And now, since I'm back, every time I leave the room, she instantly cries and looks for me because she thinks I'm going to be gone for another month, which is so sad. But yes, I have vowed to spend more time with my baby girl because she does mean so much to me. And her bumblebee outfit is definitely my favorite number one. All right, guys, moving on to my second round of favorites. This is something that was gifted to me by my good friend Rhea and it is in collaboration with her brand Caviar and the brand called Anma if I'm not mistaken. It's this cute little leather pouch where you can store your jewelry. So when you open it up, first of all it has my name here. It's customized and in gold which is so me. I love customized things and I love gold. And second when you open it up you can store your jewelry instantly. So there are these little holes here where you can put your earrings in. You can take it out with this button here. You can take out the button here so it's easier for you to put the earrings in. You can even like loop your necklaces around here so it doesn't get tangled inside. And then you can put your bangles and bracelets and watches here and your rings here. And it's so easy because when I don't fill this whole pouch up, I can easily just squish it and it makes room for more things in my luggage. So I really, really like this and it looks very, very pretty as well. Okay, next up is a fashion favorite and this is something that I found also in Tokyo from the store called Style Nanda and I know Style Nanda is a Korean brand but I got it in Harajuku. It's not these frames. These frames are from Bola and I've had them for a while now. It is actually this little, what do you call this? Like eyeglass necklace? Eyeglass, you know those, what those old ladies wear so you don't they don't lose their eyeglasses That is what this is and I know it is back on trend, but I'm so happy because it also looks so cute I love the granny look especially when you're not wearing something super granny or when you're wearing something preppy like I am today It looks so cute. Okay, I'm wearing contacts now So this is gonna be really painful for my eyes. So I'm just gonna close my eyes and show you what it looks like I love, this is so weird, but okay, I love this pearl detail over here and the fact that the gold chain is super slim. But yeah, I really, really like it and um, I feel like it just adds a surprising element, surprising element to your outfit, especially now that not a lot of people are wearing it yet, but I feel like in the coming days, you're gonna see so many people wear more of this in the streets, I'm sure. Okay, next up is another purchase that I got from Tokyo and this time, it's something that I did not expect myself to buy, but I was, again, sales-talked, sales-talked, sales-spoken, sales-talked into getting. And it is actually something that I don't regret buying at all. It is my new vintage Chanel bag, and apparently in Tokyo, they have these really awesome vintage Chanel stores that I've read about from different websites that I trust. And in Tokyo, it's also illegal to sell counterfeit items. So you're sure that this is 100% authentic. And vintage Chanel bags have come back into fashion recently, in the recent years. And some of them are even more expensive than the new Chanel's that you find in the store. And so this one is, it doesn't look vintage because it's a classic 2.55 that you still see in stores today, but this color and in this beautiful lambskin and in this beautiful gold, you will not find in stores. Because this bag, my friends, was made in the 1980s. It was made before I was even born, which is why it's so special to me. 
the quality is still so good. It was a bit pricey when I bought it. It, it didn't have the like vintage or secondhand price tag, but I feel like it's super worth it because I love this color so much. Number two, it was so well taken care of. The fact that this was still from like 30 years ago doesn't show at all. The edges even are like untouched. I feel like this bag was never used. It's in pristine condition and it has this little mark on the CC, which I hear is a mark of the vintage Chanel bags because they don't do that anymore these days. So also the gold here is made of 24K plated gold, which Chanel doesn't do anymore. And I just, I'm in love with this bag. I'm so happy I got it. And this will definitely stay with me forever. Okay, we are now moving on to beauty, finally. And the first thing that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about is something that you see right now. And it's not my February lifestyle earrings, although yes, I do love them also so much. But it is something more in your face than that. And it's actually my curly bangs. This is a trick that I learned when I was in Tokyo again because our hairstylist for the shoot that I did did this really cute style of my hair and I ended up really, really liking it. I see it all the time when I look at models or photo shoots from Korea or from Japan, but I never really thought of doing it on myself. And now that she did it on me, I'm like, oh, this is such a mood, like I love it so much. It makes me feel so cute and it makes me feel younger than I actually am. So that's always a plus. And I will try my best to do a tutorial for you guys so you can also try it out for yourselves if you're interested. Yeah, so I've been really loving this curly bands look. The only thing is you have to like hairspray it to death so that it stays there the entire day and doesn't frizz up, especially since we live in a very tropical, humid climate. So that's the only thing. But yeah, I really, really love this hairstyle so far and you guys seem to like it too. Um, when I posted my Taviant video, which I will link up here, um, you guys commented a lot about my bangs and so thank you so much. And yes, I will try to do a tutorial for you. Maybe stay tuned for it on IGTV. Okay, next up, we are still in the beauty category and this time it is something that I have been loving so much as well the past few days. It is this Aveda Damage Remedy Intensive Restructuring Treatment. So I use this as my conditioner even though it is a treatment because the instructions at the back say that you can only leave it on your hair for two to five minutes after shampooing. So I like it because you don't have to wait like 20 minutes and you're not doing anything in the shower for the treatment to set in. It only takes two to five minutes. And I swear to you, this is the best treatment I've ever used in my life. I know I try so many different products and I recommend so many different products to you guys, but up to this day, this one is the best one that I've used when it comes to treatments, hair treatments. Like my hair was dead and feels very, very healthy immediately after I use it. No lie, not sponsored. There's a price tag here, 5513. It's freaking expensive. But also, also, if you think about it, <laughs> I always try to justify my purchases. If you think about it, this tub is huge. It's a 500 ml. And I only use super little because it says, it doesn't say use a small amount, but I use a small amount and still does wonders for my hair. So I think this will last me up to next year, I think. And it's proven itself. It's proven it's worth, it's worth it. Try it out. I highly, highly recommend this. I got this at Basement Salon in Shangri-La. And yeah, I really, really love this so far. Okay, next up is a lotion that has been saving my dry skin. I don't know if I've talked about this in the past, but it is a drugstore lotion that you can find in the US. But I think you can also find it locally here because my mom got this for me actually from Restan's supermarket. It is the Userin Original Healing Lotion. And the reason why I like this is because it is fragrance free, which means Slater will not complain when I wear it. And that's not the only thing why I like it. I also like it because it's so thick. So if you guys have super duper dry skin or you have eczema, then this is gonna be really good for you. But it does feel thick when you apply it on your skin. Like you will feel this as a layer on top of your skin, which I personally like because my skin is so dry. So when I put it on and I feel that layer, it feels like I'm protecting my skin and making it feel like it's drinking water. Normal lotions will just evaporate and like in five minutes my skin feels dry again. This one feels like my skin is protected. It doesn't last me a long time. Like for example, if I apply it before I go to sleep, when I wake up, my skin feels dry again. But it lasts me more than a normal lotion would. And so if you guys are battling with very dry, sensitive skin, then do also give this a shot. Um, it's not super cheap. I think it's a little less than a thousand bucks, but you can get it locally. And if you're desperate, 
do give us a try. I recommend it. Okay, next up, we're still in beauty slash skin. And this is something that I have been using a lot lately. In fact, I store this in my car because a lot of the times when you're driving, this side of my arm gets exposed to all of the sunlight and the side of my face. And that really annoys me because I'm developing more like sunspots here and freckles on this arm than on this arm. So this is actually a Hello Sunny Water Essence Sun Spray and it's SPF 50. I got this from Bonilla Co. in Ayala Cebu. And it's just a mist. Like I'm gonna show you now what it looks like. Ah, see? It's just a mist spray. So it's not like your typical sunscreen where you spray it and it's like and then you have to rub it. It's kind of like a and then it like automatically um, coats your whole skin. So it's also good to reapply sunscreen, especially when you already have makeup on. And it's good that when I'm driving and I feel like the sun is out and it's like burning my skin, I can just grab it and easily apply it on my hand without the need to like rub it while I'm driving. So it's very, very convenient. I've been enjoying this so far. All right, next up is another skin essential. And my nails have been super duper dry. They've always been dry. My cuticles have always been cracking. Even though I, okay, I don't drink a lot of water when I should, but I, even though I put on a lot of lotion still, it cracks a lot because I wash my hands a lot. And no matter what I do, that is always what happens to my hands. And so this one is what I brought with me to Tokyo on my last trip and I applied it every single day. Every time I felt like my hands needed some TLC, I would apply this and my hands did not crack. And that is probably one of my first few travels recently that my hands did not crack. And when I say crack, I'm going to show you a video right now what I mean when I say crack. It cracks bad, my cuticles. So this one really saved, saved me. It is the Clinique Deep Comfort Hand and Cuticle Cream. And I just apply a little bit onto my nails, like on the nail beds itself. And then I rub it, and even on my thumbs, I just go around the nail, that's it. And then what I like about it also is that it doesn't leave my hands feeling oily or sticky. There's so many cuticle oils out there, but then when you touch your bag, your bag becomes oily. When you touch your, like your car, your car becomes oily and it just gets everything oily. But this one like protects your hand, cares for it, but doesn't leave that greasy, feel after so i really like this one as well okay guys last but not the least is a book favorite and i know you guys have been waiting for my book favorites because it's been a while since i gave you a book recommendation but i did come up with a list of five of my current favorite books which i will put a link up to also here and today's book favorite is also something that comes from that list. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch it. But one of the first one that I talk about is this book right here. It is the book called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I am obsessed with that book. It was very well written. I read, I read it actually via Audible. So it was very easy. The narrator is amazing. It feels like somebody's just telling you a story. And you know, uh, it was a very interesting book. One of those types that you just can't put down and it's so easy to read. It's very thrilling as well. You never really know what's gonna happen. It's about this actress called Evelyn Hugo and the book accounts all the things that she had to do to take her away from her miserable childhood and land herself in Hollywood and become the Oscar winning sex pot kind of a star. How and why she married seven different men in her life and what their uses were. Why and how she did all the things that she did, not all good, not all bad and why she isn't remorseful for them at all and how when you love someone, you can actually risk a lot of things or do crazy things for that love. It also shows you how complicated people can be and how you think you know someone, you think you can read a person based on impressions or because she's always in front of the camera or because she's a popular, you know, she's a celebrity or she's an actress. But you don't really know that person at all because what you know is only what the media shows you. It's only what you know she puts out there for the world to see. But behind closed doors, there are so many secrets. There's so many reasons why people do the things that they do. And so it also mirrors, to me, it also mirrors society today and how we react to different people and how we judge people. And it's such a powerful read, fun but powerful read, and I hope you guys will also check it out. All right guys, those are all my favorites for the month of October. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below which one is your favorite or which one you'd like to try for yourself, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Mwah.